Oh goodness, that's not good. Oh god, no, that's real not good. Hang on, interruptions. What's up guys, it's the Couch Potato here, and welcome back to the center. Oh yeah. So, I hope you guys are doing very well today. I am doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. So, last episode we got our butts handed to us by the Broodmother and the Megapithecus. And that made me kind of sad. Truthfully, it, uh, I went on, I went on vacation this weekend, and, uh, it kind of, kind of dampened it for a second there, you know, because I, I, I kept thinking back, I was like, oh yeah, I got all these awesome dinosaurs, and then I was like, nope, Megapithecus and the Broodmother destroyed them, but you know what, I can't let it get to me, and I'm not going to, so you know what we're going to do today, we're going to do something fun, at the end of the episode, I think we're going to, we're going to bury all of the dinosaurs that died, but I figured what we could do in today's episode is we're going to do a couple things. So one, today's episode might be a little talkier than some of the other ones just because I've got some things I want to talk to you guys about and some things that are coming to the channel and might be coming to the channel sooner rather than later. Um, and uh, just got some things I need to uh, tell you guys. And then the second thing is, pardon me, um, is I want to go underwater because we've only been underwater once and it was to show you the underground, underground breeding facility. And so... In order to do that, we need to tame a megalodon. So, we need to get a me we need to find a megalodon first, a high level megalodon. And in order to do that, that means I need to get on that dang raft and float around and find one and start tranking it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Along with that, I want to show you guys something. So I got all of my stuff back. I got all of the crossbows and I made a shotgun. Alright, I found a shotgun in one of the drops, in a drop a while ago, so I made a bunch of ammo for it, and I have all my parachutes back, all my grappling hooks and all that stuff, I have my riot armor back, but check it out guys, I, uh, I made the transponder tracker again, and look who I found just chilling on top of the portal, that's right, the Giga is not dead, he is very much alive, thank goodness, so we didn't lose, we lost our second most powerful dinosaur because giga killer was the most powerful but you know what we're not going to dwell on that so luckily we still have pain in the rear and he's very happy to be alive so anyways on today's episode we are going to go underwater because i do believe on the center there are underwater loot drops and i've yet to see any but you know what i what blah, 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 blah. you know what else i want to do I would love to tame a Moza, because screw a plesiosaur, a plesiosaur, however you want to pronounce that. Screw that guy. I want a Mosasaur, and there's a really easy way to tame them, guys. The underwater domes. If you stand inside the underwater domes and shoot out, they can't get to you, but you can get to them. Super duper easy way to tame a big underwater monster. So, I think that's what we're going to do today. We need to get a Megalodon. We need to get a Moza, and then we're going to go underwater loot crate drop, uh, underwater loot crate, wow, that is a mouthful, underwater loot crate s hunting, yes, total brain fart. So, it's kind of a full day ahead, but I think it's going to be an awesome day, because the underwater on the center, super duper cool looking, it's amazing looking. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about the, uh, the update coming to ARC on Tuesday, January, or January, June 14th. Uh, it is supposed to be coming to Xbox June 14th, which is this Tuesday. And it's going to bring in the Leech, it's going to bring in the Diplodocus, um, I think Baby Breeding fee Phase 2, um, there's a couple of other things that are coming with it, but it's going to be a really exciting update. And then I think the next update after this is the biome change. So that comes with the the redwood forest, the extended snow biome, uh, a big kind of a bigger swamp, I think. And then I think it adds the titanosaur. And if you don't know what the titanosaur is, go ahead and look it up because it is a massive, massive dinosaur. And if they add that to the Xbox version, I'm going to be so excited and so pumped to see what it looks like on the Xbox version. So... First things first though, we need to get all suited up with our scuba suit and get out in the ocean. So, when I have all that stuff ready, 
I'll meet you guys out in the ocean. Alright you guys, so after probably about an hour's worth of cursing and oh god what's going on? Oh Jesus, oh goodness, that's not good. Oh god no, that's real not good. Hang on, interruptions. Okay, uh... All good? All clear? Okay, good. Okay, so as I was saying, after about, uh, I'd say about an hour, yeah. After about an hour worth of um, cursing and naming her all the curse words, we have tamed a level 150 female Megalodon. Oh, I just said female and, and it was a male, even though I saw it right there. I said female. I don't know what's on my mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we tamed a male Megalodon. One level 150. I've been leveling her up for quite a while and going out and gathering some stuff for a little while because I figured, hey, you know what? What the hey? Uh, but yeah, I died probably about four times to some manta rays and stuff like that. But other than that, she's so worth it. Or he. God, why do I keep calling it a she? He's so worth it. Uh, so, but what I figured what we could do now is, well, there's the uh, underwater breeding facility right there. Awesome. Uh, so what I figured what we could do now is figure out where Mosasaurs spawn, uh, but I also want to talk to you guys. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of swim around and maybe skirt the bottom of the ocean because uh, I'd like to find some underwater drops as well. So anyways, uh, I've got some stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. So let me, uh, let me start off with the first thing because I have like a list. Uh, and the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is I want to say thank you. And the reason I want to say thank you is because we are going to hit 50 subscribers in the next couple of days. And that is mind-blowing to me. Because the first time I did this, I was at 5 subscribers, and then the second time I think I was at 12 or 20. And I have been at this for probably about a month and a half, I would say. And I am completely new to this. And to hit something that's a milestone like 50 subscribers is something that I can't I couldn't even like think of when I started this YouTube channel I I don't even remember what I was thinking because I just wanted to do it you know I wanted to start something to have something every day and to make people laugh I wanted to entertain people I wanted to make people feel good I wanted to make people happy you know I wanted to be that person that people come to YouTube and watch because I'm the same way, there's an underwater loot drop, I'm the same way with my YouTubers that I watch. And you know, it's it's a special feeling to be subscribed to by 50 people, 50 individuals, and that would never have happened without you guys. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and truthfully thank you, It it's not a word that does my feelings justice. And, you know, it's hard to convey feelings over just a, a microphone because you can't see my facial expressions. And, I mean, you couldn't before because I sit in a dark basement on a couch. But it's, it's a special feeling that you can't convey over a microphone. And I want to thank you guys so freaking much. Because what a, what a milestone. 50 subscribers... And we're only going to be, we're only getting bigger. We're, n I'm never going to stop. Oh, and there goes my game. Okay. We're never, I'm never going to stop. I can promise you that. I will always be uploading daily videos. So long as I am healthy, so long as I, as my equipment works, so long as everything is okay, I will always be uploading. And I want you guys to know that you are the reason I get up in the morning and you are the reason I stay motivated. And I have never felt that in my life in my very short life right now because I'll tell you I'm only 20 years old and I've I've never felt anything like that and I want to thank you guys so oh, uh, I'm starving great I gotta eat some of that fish meat that I just dropped what is hitting me Ugh, these stupid anglers so along with thanking you guys for 50 subscribers almost I'm at 49 at the time of filming uh, I also wanted to talk to you guys about where is that dead fish I wanted to talk to you guys about a change that could that is 
probably going to be coming to the channel. And that change is in the form of a new game, or new games. And the new games that I'm thinking about are either Overwatch, Fallout 4, Far Harbor, the DLC, or um, The Witcher 3, uh, of, Blood, of Blood and Wine, I think is the name of the DLC. But I love, 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 love Fallout 4, and I love The Witcher 3. And I think Overwatch looks like a lot of fun. I don't know how good I would be at it, uh, so that one's kind of lower on my list, but it does look like a lot of fun. I might do, like, mini episodes on that. Uh, but I would love to get into Fallout 4 or The Witcher 3 again, because I'd love to make episodes of that for you guys, because I love those games. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I might put up a video just asking you guys for your feedback, uh, and I might put up a poll on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter, uh, at CouchPotato1898. That's at CouchPotato1898. And uh, I'm probably going to put up a poll uh, on Sunday night. And um, actually, scratch that because this video is going to go up on Monday. So it would have been last night that you would have seen the poll. Uh, but I'll probably put up a poll. And if you guys could help me out in deciding what to put in the uh, Subnautica slot, that would be wonderful. I would love your guys' help and your guys' input. Um, because I want, I, want to, I want to interact with you guys, you know? Uh, and so I think that's what I'm going to do. It's between those three games, uh, Fallout 4, Far Harbor DLC, which I was planning on covering the Fallout 4 mods anyways uh, on PlayStation 4. Uh, of uh, Witcher 3, of Blood and Wine, I believe is the DLC's name, and Overwatch. So just let me know down in the comments, um, and uh, I'll go ahead and do some videos on that, guys. And um, we'll go from there, because I would love to do that, and I'd love to add a little bit of variety to the channel, uh, as far as those games go, because I absolutely adore those games. Uh, so yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um... Oh, there's one more thing. When No Man's Sky comes out in August, August 9th is the date, that game will probably be taking place of Ark at the noon position, and then Ark will be moved to the to a 2 p.m. position. So I'll probably still be uploading Ark two times a week. Uh, it might be either three or two times a week, uh, depending on how like long it takes me to film the, uh, the No Man's Sky episodes. Uh, but I'll let you guys know when, when No Man's Sky gets closer to releasing and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. I have seen absolutely no Mosasaurs, but we found that underwater loot drop, and I didn't even look at it. What is that? Oh my gosh! That is the only Mastercraft item I have ever, ever seen on, on my arc, like, ever, any playthrough ever. I've had to spawn Mastercraft stuff in before, but never have I found something. So, we're having better luck at finding underwater loot drops than we are at finding Mosasaurs. But I'm going to keep looking around, and I'm going to see if I can't find either some underwater loot drops or another or a Mosasaur. And uh, hopefully I can find a Mosasaur, because I'd like to tame one today. Uh, so, I will be right back, guys, hopefully with one or the other. So... It's most definitely not a Mosasaur, because I was f f floating around for probably about another hour, and, uh, I couldn't find one. Like, I don't even know where they spawn. But, check it out, guys. 150 plusy. Holy cow. So, I'm gonna see if I can't get this one knocked out, and, uh, I'll bring you guys back in, and maybe we can get this Plesiosaur. Alrighty. It looks like he is out. So, luckily, I'm down here in the, uh, the underwater, uh, the breeding pen, and I built a, uh, a bed down here and a foundation because I was transporting myself when I was building this place back and forth between beds, and so in here I had an extra crossbow and stuff like that, so luckily I had a crossbow in there because that one broke, uh, but now, now we need to get some fish or some prime meat on that... Plessy. Uh, so, let's hope I can get up there in time. She, he is knocked out. Good. Alright, 
so I left my Megalodon up here. I'm going to suffocate if I don't put my uh, stuff back on. That would have been bad. All right, so this, this strategy works really, really freaking well. So if you guys want to use this strategy, I would definitely use it. Find an underwater dome, drag one of these bad boys here, and just stand in it and trank it. Because it works like a freaking charm. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to see if I can't find some uh, some, some fresh prime meat. Uh, maybe some fresh uh, fish prime. Let's see, if, let's see if these drop fish prime. I don't, is it raw prime fish, I think is what it's called? Oh, there goes my game. Okay, they don't drop raw prime fish, but they drop fish meat. But um, I'm going to go ahead and tame it up via fish meat. And I'll be back when we have a brand new 150 Plesiosaur, guys. Alright, you guys. So, check it out. Oh, yeah. Level 215 Plesiosaur. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Now, he took a couple hits while I was taming him from stupid anglerfish swimming in the area. Because uh, I had to go out and get some more food and stuff like that. But, oh, hello. But look at how happy he is. He's all smiley and he's all happy and stuff like that. But man, do these guys take a while to tame. But, you know, I had an idea. Uh, I kind of want to go out and tame some stuff. Or, no, no, sorry, I already tamed something. I kind of want to go out and level. Because I want this guy to be like the Giga of the Sea. Like, you know how I said uh, screw a Moses or screw a Plesiosaur today earlier in the video? Yeah, no. I want this guy to be able to take out Mosasaurs and everything like that. So, I think it's time to do a leveling montage, guys. So, it might be kind of weird, though, underwater because stuff's so spread out and everything like that. So, I might get a couple levels on him, and then we'll go right into the montage, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that montage. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. So, as you saw, uh, he got pretty dang hurt in that last stretch, but man did we get some levels. Let me show you how much we got. So he's up to 54,000 health, uh, 2192 weight, I didn't pump any weight, 15,000 melee, 130% movement speed, and 5762 stam, but I wanted to show you all this crap in my inventory. I actually exited out of the game and turned down my gather rate so that it would not lag my game. Uh, so we got a bunch of bows, bunch of angler gel, chitin, cloth. Oh, we got firework, uh, flarework fire guns, or flare, that, yeah, firework flare gun skins. A uh, bunch of fish meat and prime meat, but I'm sure it's all spoiled. Yeah, it all spoiled. Slingshots, all these tools, all these berries, it's nuts. But did I show, I, look at this. If you saw that red drop that I picked up, an ascendant Araneo saddle. How crazy is that? That's the spider. So we're going to have to go in and tame a, uh, a spider now. But uh, before we end off the episode, I wanted to come in and show you guys. This is the other underwater dome. Check this place out, guys. Uh, let me take off my uh, my scuba stuff. 
All right, there we go. This one, I think, is actually kind of a lot cooler. Like, look at that. Uh, it's kind of like a, a blur effect. As you walk closer, it kind of disappears and stuff like that. I think that looks super cool. But this one, it's it's a lot more beachy and like a lot... I don't know. It's just got the, a different aesthetic about it. So I think it looks pretty cool, though. I really like the way that it looks. Plus, the mushrooms look really cool and everything like that. But, but yeah, so... I just wanted to show you guys this one because I think this is the second underwater dome. It's it's located right here. If you see where I... Wait, this is a different one. I think... Wait. This is a different one, I think. This is right by our house. Our Our, our new modern house is right there. We're like right above our house. Um, I don't think I've been to this one. I think there might be three. I th maybe. Either that or I've seen this one before and I just completely forgot about it. Where is my Plessy? Uh, um, where is my Plesiosaur? Uh, is that it right there? Did it swim up, swim up to, no, that's definitely not it. Where is my plesiosaur? Did I just come out on the wrong end? What the heck? Uh, am I stupid? Maybe it just swam away and I'll just have to find it again? Great. I think this is a different cave though. I could No, it's not. Never mind. It's not a different cave. It's I've seen this one before, but our house is like right there. It's right in, inside there, but um, I think I might have to call today's episode there, guys, because uh, we got a Megalodon today. We got, hopefully I can find my Plesiosaur, but we got a Plesiosaur, um, and we got a whole bunch of, we got two red drops, and so now that I know where to look for them, oh, that's a Eurypterid. Don't you touch me, boy. Don't you touch me. Uh, now that I know where to look for them, we can go out and search for them more often. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And as I was saying before uh, I sign off today, guys, thank you guys so, so much. And um, guess what, guys? We hit 50 subscribers. As I'm filming this, it ticked over from 49 to 50. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. So I will see you guys in the next episode.